What's up everybody, Chris back from CCJ The Saint Elites, bringing you guys another deck profile video. Hopefully you guys are having a good day. And today we're going to be going over a uh, red Power Ranger, the red Q build. Um, this deck is going to continuously get better, especially with um, the anniversary box coming out later this week. Uh, this deck will change a little bit. Um, some of the card consistencies will change, maybe some ratios. But as of right now, I think this deck is really fun. Um, it can be really, really good. Uh, it depends on the matchup. I've played some really good matchups. I've played some really, really bad matchups. Um, so it just kind of depends on who you're playing against and kind of how your card draw goes. Uh, but make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe if you guys like this sort of content. Let me know what deck profiles you guys like to see in the future. Maybe you want to see out of the anniversary box. I know we're going to be doing the BoJack one that's been requested. But any of the other ones, feel free to let me know. So this card's uh, permanent. Um, if you have a skillless battle card in your drop area, you can awaken at six life, which is awesome, which is a restand one draw one. And once per turn, you can reveal a four trouble ball from your hand. Uh, you gain 5k and you draw. Now on this side, um, same sort of thing. Whenever you reveal a ball, you actually get to draw two cards and then pitch one. And then you can activate his uh, auto once per turn where you combo with the skillless card and then you give it an extra 5k combo boost. So uh, one of your skillless cards will basically become a 10k pseudo combo. Um, so what we have here, um, we have the four KQs, um, the engine of the deck being able to search out four star balls, and then you can tap two and play out a three or less, uh, skillless from your drop or your deck, and then shuffle your deck if you look through it, and four four star balls, uh, which are basically free 5k pow um, combo power. Um, I only have four. Personally, I think five would be the perfect amount of this card. That way you're going to almost guarantee you're going to see this card um, every single m mulligan, generally. Uh, but this combo here is kind of how the deck functions. If you don't have one of these in your hand, or if you don't have a Kid Coup, you don't draw. And that's bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. So hopefully you're able to pull out one of these, and then you can start doing all of your fun stuff. The third card that kind of fits into this equation now is the Shinron Unison. This Unison is... It's really good for draw power. It's really, really good for draw power. Um, this ca this card kind of doubles with the Kid Koo. Um, being able to, the Kid Koo, put it here. So the Kid Koo will allow you to bring out a, uh, a Skillless, and then you can use your uh, plus one to give it double strike and then draw one. Even if you don't have one on board, you can just plus one, and then you just don't get any of the effects on it. Um, the minus zero is if you don't have any skills cards in play, you can play one from your drop area that is two or less. And then your minus seven, you get to play all the skills from your drop area. This card also has an effect whenever it is attacked. If it would lose a marker from an attack, you may choose one card from your life and put it in your drop area. So basically you create yourself. Um, it's really good early. You play this card out turn one, plus, you know, you plus a marker and then they, they go to swing at it twice. You can just crit one of those lives. Or crit both take you know take yourself down to six and then next turn combo away a uh a skillless and then you can awaken uh but so far for these um i know there is the the new goku uh junior vegeta junior coming out of the, the anniversary box um i will probably end up running it in this deck but the deck's gonna change significantly <laughs> um so we'll kind of go over that whenever that video comes out for those uh, and we'll go into the skillless so we, we are running red so we, we want to run red skillless uh, Gohan brainwash Gohan's my favorite non-fusion character and GT's my favorite arc um, or my favorite you know ver variation of Dragon Ball uh, the GT was my favorite so this is the two drop of choice that I picked uh, which this two drop also you can play out from your Shinron for free from the drop area and then we run um, four of the big boy ox kings, uh, good old foils. Um, they uh, this basically just allows you to apply pressure. Being able to play one of these out from your dropper or your deck for two energy, and then giving it double strike and then drawing a card is super super good. So every turn you're at least drawing two cards on your um, on awakened side. You're drawing one off of your four star, and then you're drawing one off of this, and then possibly if you're searching out a four star ball you're drawing another one so lots and lots of draw power and then this is just a giant 30k beater that's just really really annoying to deal with um 
Now we go into the fun part. So now we are also running the Cataplaza engine, which we run um, four of each one. This is the Searcher. Searcher's top seven for a universe three card. Add it to your hand and shuffle. The four drop comes up for one on top of the one drop. Dual attack barrier for one energy. You can negate a battle card's attack for or less. Um, pretty decent uh, part of the chain. For the five drop, this is the only really vulnerable one. Does not have barrier, has crit and double strike when you play it, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, KO it, or actually warp it, and uh, you, you draw a card first. But you can swing at this card first if they don't have uh, a lot of removal. And then you go into the six drop, and when you evolve into this card, you switch this card to active mode, and now you have double strike, dual attack, crit, and barrier. And this is kind of your main win condition of the deck. Um, you're just going to play this and then just start swinging. But also while you're, while you're swinging with this, you also have your 30Ks that you can swing with. Uh, give them double strike and now you're adding some uh, very annoying pressure. Uh, for the negates, or power burst. This is to bring back Ketopesla or Kidku. Uh, and it's sparking, which is helpful. Two not even a scratch. This would change if I went to a tournament. I would run um, Protector of the People, uh, depending on how the matchup is going. I would probably sideboard it in, but two of these are fine. Then you can also pitch this from your drop barrier for one and then draw a card. Um, since we're running red, can't really run uh, bi Bibbity unless we're charging all black cards, which would not be very ideal. So we have four of this one, Sparking 5, um, 10k, and draw a card. The only proxy I have in the deck right now is Topo. I only have two. But the anniversary coming out, I'm probably going to pull at least two of them, I feel, from the boxes that I got. So I would run four Topo in this deck. Um, it's an awesome card, especially in this deck, because when you play it, you have to pitch a card. You can just pitch a ball and then just get it back next turn. And then if your opponent wants to attack uh, for, for the rest of their turn, they have to pitch two cards from their hand. Uh, super, super strong card. Uh, we run one Heartfelt Plea. Uh, this is for the uh, Ox King. So we can play out Ox King on two, on turn two. Swing with this. And then if we have a skill in our, in our drop area, we can uh, declare Awaken. And then play Heartfelt in exchange of this. And then it has Offering. So they either crit a life or we draw two. And now you have a 30k triple strike on board. Now, not including your... You know, you're being able to give these double strike, not including your Keto Pestle engine, um, just gives you another form of <laughs> of just pushing power, especially on that turn three, um, that, that turn three, turn four burst whenever you want to do this kind of stuff uh, makes it extremely, extremely difficult to deal with. And um, obviously, once they see that you're running red, they're going to go, OK, probably running hard play, but they, they don't ever really expect it until you actually play it. <laughs> so um, I would. If I had another one, I'd probably run two. Um, two, I think, would be a max. I wouldn't run it any more than that. And then... Um, dropping, dropping Heartfelt Please everywhere. Um, two Ganos. I know people don't, for whatever reason, don't play this card. He's a five-drop deflect. Like, that's amazing. Most counterplays in the game don't hit him then. Um, but he comes down. Um, he is a 30k double strike that activate main you can pitch two skillless from your drop from the game and then switch the card to active mode so in this deck we run um i believe eight skillless um we should run four yeah we run four the two drop and four the three drop so that is a that is a total of eight of those which is a total of four extra swings for this guy let's just say hypothetically we had eight of those in the drop area we can swing at this guy five times in one turn um, that's five double strike attacks. Pretty strong. His auto is really nice too. Um, you can minus this card 15k for the turn. And then when one of your opponent's cards attacks, you can negate the attack. So if they swing in with their unison or their boss monster, you can just auto, make, you know, negative 515 and then they, you know, then they lose an attack. So it, it allows you to not have to use energy, um, to negate any attacks. Uh, which is really really good in this deck because we don't have any sort of energy manipulation like with sensu bean So we just want to be able to keep a high energy cost or a high energy efficiency um, For most of the game and 
then the uh, SCR of choice in this deck is going to be Demigra. Um, Smoke does doesn't really work too much. I don't I don't generally have a huge drop area. This is only seven compared to twelve. Uh, it is Dark Overrealm, so it has to be all black cards. But you know we run you know the Ketapesla engine, and we have our we have our energy. I mean our our negates and uh, four fair balls stuff like that. So um, I'm basically only going to throw this down if I absolutely am going to go for game. Um, and then when this card swings, your opponent reveals their hand, you, you rip four battle cards from in a combo with them, and then this has triple strike as well. So, needless to say, if they don't negate this attack, they, they can prob they're they probably going to lose as long as they're in kill shot range. Um, just a really, really strong card. Um, you, can't r you can run Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but you have to charge all one color, so you have to charge all red or all black. And in this deck, we don't really want to do that. We kind of want to charge two reds and then the rest black. Um, so it, it's it's really it's really odd. But uh, this this card just ends up working the best. Um, I didn't get to play with this last time because I forgot it <laughs> when I was playing this deck. I was doing some text some uh, testing, but this is the uh, the secret I think would be uh, ideal for this deck idea. And that is my uh, Kidku deck as of right now. There will be another variation of this deck coming out whenever the anniversary box drops. So stay tuned for that. It will be a very different deck. Um, I probably won't run the Kettle Pezzle engine with it because um, it's going to be way more focused on skillless. Uh, but this one I think works really well. It gives you a good combination of skillless and of a really strong engine with some very strong finishers in the deck. Good negates. Um, good draw power deck functions really well. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video.